Okay, so before we begin, I just want to say this is going to be my intro for each episode. And if you are somebody you know is going through these types of problems or that you're about to see on the show, I'm going to leave some links in the description. And this is residue some type of emotions please please check them out so anyway i'm to begin so seven halfway no no number four was halfway there damn how am i in a stem degree i can tell Halfway of eight. Jeez. Embarrassment. Anyway, so. Episode seven. Yeah, so. I'm really hoping that guy Nate gets hit by a car or s something. Yeah, that's harsh. I mean. To be honest. You never wish death on someone. Just too easy, you know. Got to do better as humans, as people. Anyway, so like I was saying, here we are at episode seven, and yeah, I just don't like like. The direction that they're going with uh Jules drinking like she is. Um Nate getting away with murder. Not really, but you get the drift. And uh who else? The way Maddie is going through this uh Stockholm Syndrome type thing. What's her name? One girl on the internet blowing up on the internet. I, uh, well, a little concerned. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be a happy ending for her. I, I mean, not necessarily, but I feel like something's gonna happen and uh, gonna get either in trouble they already said that the we are uh, child uh por pornography is illegal technically she's still 17 so yeah i'm not sure just like um Waiting for something to happen to her. But who knows? Nothing's happened to Nate yet. And nothing needs to happen to her. She's living her best life. After years of being abused, body shame, let her live her life. Anyway, so... All right, that's enough of that. Episode seven. Let's press play. What happens in a month? Hold on. I can't do captions. That's just... Cassie's dad was really handsome. Annoying. The kind of handsome that made people treat him differently. The little kid looks just like her. Her dad like always her. wanted her to become a professional ice skater. Wow. Oh, 
Look at you all grown up. Her mom told her that her dad was just being irrational. Your father had some serious jealousy issues. Let me tell you. Oh, did he? Plus, he couldn't hold a steady job to save his life. Really? It's too much work. You're gonna be. But Cassie that mom. differently. My mom said your mom cheated on your dad, and that's why he left. What? A week after her 15th birthday, she got a text from a random number at about one in the morning. Oh, this ain't good. Is he gonna steal from them? And even though she was excited to see him, to hug him, there was something about the whole thing that scared her. I want you to know there's never a day goes by. I don't think about you. Oh. The number you texted me from. Can I call you? That's my friend's phone. Bye bye. He said uh. he needed a few things and made her promise that she wouldn't tell a soul. Yeah. Stealing for drugs. Cassie kept her promise and never told anyone about that night. She also never saw her dad again. She fell in love with every guy she ever dated. Whether they were smart or stupid or... She didn't like to be alone. What are you doing? Abandonment issues. I'm just filming issues. you sucking my dick. What? No! <laughs> what? It's like a sex tape. <laughs> It didn't always make her feel good. And she Aww. knew that most guys, after she broke up with them, would always share those photos or videos. The first time she found out, she had a panic attack and wanted to swallow. I assume that she was just doing that for attention. People are always but telling me about now TV shows. You kind of see the truth. Have to watch it's just kind of sad. But the truth is. I don't want good TV. I don't want a novel or some slow burn. It's pure, effortless entertainment. Romance hits the rocks. She hasn't talked to me. She hasn't acknowledged me. She's That's true. Honestly, you're I want to lay down. Well, you know what? Maybe after a while, you just want to hear it anymore. Be five feet just so I can sit on cold porcelain and piss out toxins over and over again for the rest of my life makes the whole concept of living feel like one long, sadistic joke. But the absolute worst part of depression is that even though you know you're depressed, you're unable to stop yourself from getting worse. After Halloween, Jules didn't go to school for a full week. Oh, yeah. Feels bad about and what happened. I sent her about 50 texts, she didn't respond. Happy Halloween. I could tell something bad had happened and that it had something to do with Nate. Yep. This shit wasn't adding up. And I was putting together the pieces of the puzzle. Power let's roll. <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop until I got the truth. We all owe Nate Jacobs a heartfelt apology and are excited and thrilled to have him back at East Highland. Why would Jules lie to help Nate? No, no, no. Well, have you asked her about it? No. You haven't asked her? No. Morgan fucking Freeman and this at the beginning of the third act. Doesn't that seem like the first logical step? This whole thing is beyond logic. Hmm. <laughs> Love. Jules is in love with Nate. 
Why would Jules be in love with Nate? Why you should listen to me. Bennett, the cigarettes are killing listen, me. Listen, listen. The night at the carnival, she said she wanted to go meet up with this guy she met online. Okay, so they've been texting for weeks. And when I say texting, I don't just mean regular fucking texting. They were sexting. Like nudes? Yeah. I saw his face. Yeah, so Jules was catfish. Now, hear me out, so the night at the carnival, she made plans with this guy to meet up with him at the lake, okay? I fucking go home. Next thing I know, she's fucking knocking at my window. Oh, yeah. She's so emotional, she got fucking tears in her eyes. I say, Jules, what the fuck happened? She looks at me, she goes, you know what his name was? Nate Jacobs? Tyler. Like Tyler Clarkson? Goddamn right. Mm. I Maddie's love the way 17. she's putting Tyler's 22 and they fornicated. Putting Satchatory. He's just sick yeah, at that. You saw it. I saw we all fucked a lighter offense than Satchatory. Salt. Bingo. Well, are you pouring coffee in the water filter? Well, please don't do that. And it's late. You shouldn't be drinking hey, coffee. I don't want to no, try that. I have homework. Well, there's a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Will you let me know when this is ready? Hello? Howard, Disappointment. 2.45 in the morning, don't you ever sleep? Listen, why would Nate single out Jules in the first place? It's obvious he was sexually attracted to her. And because Jules is predominantly het, okay, he wooed her with his uh, fucking creepy jock magic shit. She's super fucking sensitive. She's very forgiving, and she's basically the most wonderful fucking person on the planet. She fell for him. That's why she fucking testified. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Hey, Mom! I'm a fucking genius! <laughs> I'm not even tired. It's crazy. I'm not even fucking tired. I feel amazing. I'll be honest with you, Bennett. You're too close to this case. Who was that? Rue. I think she's in like a manic state. Is she okay? Uh, well, yeah. I think so. But she's right. Um, I don't want to say yes. Fuck. Oh. I don't know what you're going to say, but this feels like really dramatic. Yeah, this is spooky. It is not spooky, BB. Just... I need your advice on like two things. And I need you guys to promise me not to say a single fucking word. So, the night of Daniel's Halloween party, something happened. I don't usually come that fast. That was amazing. Oh. It's funny, I always thought I was gonna lose my virginity to you. You're a virgin? No, I mean when we were younger. When we dated. We dated? Yeah, in sixth grade. You and me? Yeah, for like five months. Oh, I literally have no recollection of that. Hmm? Really? Wait, am I hearing this correctly? You want to tell McKay that you made out with Daniel at the carnival and on Halloween? Yeah, but I don't, I don't have to say it's Daniel. Bitch, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard, right? For sure. Yeah, but I want to be honest with him. Uh, you cannot tell McKay. But it's not like I cheated you. Kissing is worse. It's so much more intimate. And if anybody brings it up, you deny, deny, deny. 
Okay, but I just, I don't want there to be something that's bought between us forever. I wouldn't worry about it, Cassie. It's not like you guys are gonna be together forever. Unlikable. World star! Why? Because I won't sit and listen to you bitch and moan about your psychotic, what? abusive boyfriend what world? you've literally broken Sorry. up with a thousand times. It was literally this would be the most boring that and the fact that video fucking on mean. World Star. Daddy, ever since I've met ever. you, all you talk about is yourself, your clothes, your boyfriends, whatever superficial shit you think is so fucking important. Sorry, I'm no longer interested. I don't know about everyone else, but I miss the old cat. You know, the one who had a sense of humor and wasn't a fucking cunt? Damn. You're shy. I guess so, but I've also never been in this situation where I've been interested in two guys. It's also because you're shy. Maybe. <laughs> if you were in my situation, what would you do? Honestly, I don't think I would say anything. What if not saying something made you feel really bad? Worse than saying it? Yeah. Well then, I don't think you have any other option. How you feeling? Uh, I think I have the flu or something. You want me to get you something? Like something to drink or something? Uh, no, I'm good. Are you sure you got the flu, bro? Okay, right now I just need you to leave me the fuck alone, alright? I am not perfect. Yeah, he knows. He saw those tapes. But I've spent my life trying to do better. You have not. Did you? That's my wish for you. I don't know how you got out of this situation. I know you didn't deserve to, but you did. Oh. And I admire Even you were like, you your son's I just trash. I teach you the wrong lesson. Oh. You've been teaching him that all his life, so good job, Dad. Been in the friend zone area for so long now, and then finally Sam's come along. And okay, this is gonna sound sick because I'm actually in a lot of pain right now due to the sheer weight and strain on my bladder. But man, does this make me miss opiates. <sighs> because your bladder is trained from a very early age not to pee whenever it wants to, it needs permission from your brain. And when you're really high, your brain gets a little lazy. Too lazy to say something. Brain. <laughs> oh, please. It's <laughs> probably why so many drug addicts die on toilets. Oh. The truth is, the last time I left this room, I didn't have the best experience. My mom's new boyfriend. If you were to ask Rick to describe himself, he'd say he was... A romantic at heart. I'm adventurous. I love to travel. I love the outdoors. Great art, great movies, great wine. Forever young. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh. Sure. I'm sure, you can find and more guys so pull themselves like that. So, your mom tells me that you have a new uh, that's such best a dude friend from the Connors. Is that supposed to be married to that, Jackie? You know, <laughs> you got a new best friend. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know what, Rick? Why don't you go fuck yourself? How dare you speak to someone like that? Who? Rick, don't be a smart ass. Did I offend you? Apologize right now. 
In retrospect, that was a little cunty. But Rick does suck, and I was angry. For a lot of reasons. Rick, I sincerely apologize for telling you to go fuck yourself. What I really meant to say is that my mom can do better, and I hate seeing you sit in the chair my dad sat in. Oh. Jeez. Harsh. So it's going to rain. See. is busy. The point is that's me. Right now, that is fucking me. I can see the same so who Nate is. I know what happened, I know why it happened, and I know what the fuck I'm gonna do about it. Word. Word. <laughs> she can't hear me, right? She can't see you either. Okay, good, because this is like some real top secret shit. Trust me, Ru. She not gonna gossip. Okay. Do you still have that gun? What gun? The one from the couch. I mean, I got a couple guns. Why do you have so many guns? My grandma. Drug dealer. It's cool. What you worried about my guns for? Okay, well, Psst. Uh, don't do it. No, Rue. Ah, oh, Jeeves. Rue. Rue, I'm so lonely. Me too. Don't forget about me. That old lady, she doesn't even know we exist. Rue. <laughs> Oh, no. eat us. Oh, eat us. Oh, eat us. Don't. Oh, eat us. Oh. Even know what that is? <sighs> you know, I'm gonna need you to Bro. start moving some weight. Yo, I'm just trying to keep it low key over here, man. I'm trying to make fucking money. Even if I wanted all this shit, bruh, I don't got the money for all this, man. That's why you in luck. I'm a fun to you. 10% on the vig. I'm collecting them up. I'm not trying to do all that shit, man. <laughs> I ain't asking, bro. Step your shit up. brain begins to erase every memory that ever brought you joy. And eventually, all you can think about is how life has always been this way. And will only continue to be this way. Yeah. Sad, but true. I wonder if Jules is having fun. Mm, I doubt it. What's going on? The train. I don't want to kid around like a man who's dying, grinning at the end, wondering if he'll always be mine. Who's this? What about Kate? Well, are you friends or are you a little bit more a special kind of friend? Both? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, what are you in love with him or something? <laughs> Her. 
Oh. Not him. Ooh, a little yeah. plot twist. Okay. No room for heteronormativity in here. Oh <laughs> so, what? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's not like great right now. I'm not exactly like in the best place. You gonna run game and don't ever run you. Hey, Anna. Someone I want you to meet. Hi. She had the camera already? I know. I mean like she knew they were gonna come like running in. Did y'all make these? Our friend did. I mean, are you guys gonna go out? Uh, Anna's always trying to put makeup on me. It's so awkward. <laughs> I remember walking out of Sears. Conquered femininity. I don't know. But it's not like I even want to conquer it. It's like I want to fucking obliterate it and then mm. move on to the next level. And the next, and the next. The next. The next. <laughs> <laughs> level up, level up. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what that means or looks like, but. Honestly, I want me neither. Queerness is infinite. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Just knew it. What? You for real, like you're 100% pregnant? I'm sorry, uh, nervous about what? Um, being pregnant? Oh, what do you think? You're not nervous? Kid, are you? No. I really love you, McCarr. Yeah, I love you. It's a big fucking responsibility, Cassie. What if this is what I'm supposed to do with my life? Oh. Not yet. What the fuck? My parents are gonna kill me. Coach is gonna kill me. My parents are gonna fucking kill me. Fuck. I guess I don't even think it's selfish to say or whatever, but children you know, are fucking scary. Honestly, I don't think it is. You want to talk about it? So here we are. We're talking about it, but I say we don't do it. You're still in high school. Hey, I'm gonna have a baby. I wanted to dream about it for a minute. Hello? <clears throat> For some reason, your screen is black. Should I call you back? Oh, I prefer to keep it that way. Oh, okay. Do you drive a hard bargain? <laughs> yeah, well, girls gotta eat. 300 for 30 minutes. You should have asked for more. More? Let me see your whole body. Stand up. Oh, this is getting pretty. Just saying, you're special. I hope nothing ruins her confidence.
What's up, man? Yo, can I get uh, two of the rolling papers too, bro? Yo, man. I don't know what's been going on with you, Rue, and Jules and shit. But you should know. Our family. So it's platonic. Look, man. All I'm saying is leave her and her friends alone. The threat? Nah, I'm just telling you. Or what? You're not going. Fesco, let's get this straight. You're like half a retard. You dropped out of school at 20, and now you're a gangster. You pet tigers and shit? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Ah. Listen, bro. Said that to him. All I'm saying, you keep fucking with Rue and her friends, and I'm gonna kill you. Texted me. Did? Did you not want me to come? You here alone? That's a weird dream. That's why she dreamed of Nate. All people. Ah, uh, damn. God damn it. That sucks. Bro, what's wrong? It gave my mother relief because it meant that in the bad times, there would be good times. It's like nobody get a W here. But it also gave her anxiety because it meant that in the good times, there would be bad times. It always confused me because I didn't really know what it meant. I know you're feeling low right now, baby. But the fact that you didn't turn back means you're getting better. It does. It's true. It does. Granted, I didn't realize until later what waxing and waning implied. That these feelings were fixed and constant and would never end for the rest of my life. That's it. Island of the fly. Of little worms of water. Okay, so interesting. So it's kind of like a fever dream. Anyway, so now that guy Nate keeps on messing with the wrong people. He's really gonna get what's coming to him. I hope by the last episode or next season. So, yeah, I think he's gonna get his ass kicked. Here's hoping because he really needs the sense knocked in to him. Anyway, good episode. All in all. And. Got one more to go. Alright.
Till next time.